Hi guys, Brett Parkey here, Handicap Scratch. Today, I have another My Golf Crate video. So, I'm going to be unboxing this, testing it. Um, I have a letter from them this time. So, uh, this is now the launch box. So, this is the first one in the launch box. This was kind of a tester. Uh, more of kind of an introduction to what they do and things like that. Uh, interestingly, this one is bigger. Um, are they bigger? Yeah. Not by a massive amount, but it's definitely bigger. Interested? Um, and the logo has changed. So, uh, a bit of spiel from them. Uh, overview of My Golf Crate. A monthly subscription box contains four to six products, training aids, and new products to the market, the UK only. Starting at twenty nine ninety five, each box is dispatched on the fifteenth of each month, and will contain different products each month. Our aim is to introduce customers to new products, help smaller brands provide training aids, drills, and discounts. Customers subscribe to us to try new products or to benefit from a new training aid each month. Whilst we always aim to give maximum value, we do not offer promises on RRP of contents due to the variations, but aim to offer goods in the excess of £45. So yeah, that's it. Kindly, they've uh, also attached a 15% discount for anyone watching. Uh, Handicap to scratch a unique code. Um, so yeah, anyone that's interested, 15% off vouchers for anyone that uh, follows. Check in the link in the description below, you'll find their email address, uh, not their email address, you'll find their website and uh, also the code that you need to enter when ordering one. Let's get into it. So, let's take a look. So very similar on the inside, um, kind of a, a double lapped uh, black thing so you can't see it and a little uh, kind of explanation thing. Um, I don't want to read this though because I want to save a surprise for actually what's in here. So let's go. So, first thing I see, uh, Vice Golf Tall Golf Balls. Um, I've been using these very recently and Vice actually sent me some balls out. I'm loving them. My dad's tested them. I've tested them. They're, they're nice. They're nice balls. Um, well worth getting and well worth having in the bag. Premium brand. Uh, Another Vice set of three ball golf balls, the Vice Drive. I haven't actually tested these ones, I've only tested the Tour. Um, I'm not sure what the actual difference, they definitely feel different. I don't know what the difference actually is between the two. Does it say? Uh, so the Tour is a three piece dew point surlin cover. Technical words that mean nothing, but uh, I'm sure they mean something to someone. And uh, the, the driver are only a two core, so it's three core versus two core. Interestingly, I have a golf ball from Forte Golf or Fort Golf, um, and I think that's either five or six core. So um, three core is old news, I suppose, but still great balls. Um, tees, bees tees, um, just standards. I think they're driver tees rather than I think the first one came with um, uh, iron tees. Yeah, they're driver tees. Yeah, always useful. Hand warmers, it's probably coming the wrong end, so uh, obviously we're at the wrong end of winter, but um, they never go off, they never perish, they're perfect for uh, for keeping in your bag, and always useful in this country especially because it's freezing all year round. Um, ah, I wanted one of these. Uh, a it's hard to explain. Basically, it's kind of you just place it on the floor and you put up to it, but it's got a slight lip, so you can't just roll it on top of it. You've actually got to get it up and on. But I'm assuming as well, because the lip is so, I don't know if you can see that, the lip's so small that if you hit it too hard, it'll just come back over the other side. That's probably a better picture. Hopefully that focuses. So I've actually been looking for one of these. It's really useful for um, if you, let me go to that. If you uh, play a local club and you're kind of a keen golfer, it's useful for just chucking on the floor and testing other pin positions around the, you know, on your greens at, uh, at your home course. You can chug it down. What's it like from this way? Which way does it break? Which way to uh, to do this, that, the other? I've seen Rory use it loads on tour. It'll just his caddy will just chuck one down. Right, put up to here. Which way does it break? Put up to here. Which way does it break? A lot of courses you can kind of predict where the pin's going to be on it on a hole. So um, I, I'm really, that's probably my favourite thing that I've got in anything. Um, I'm really glad for that. So that's good. Um, an old weather golf glove. Um, again, probably come at the wrong time given that uh, weather's come out, but golf gloves don't perish. So uh, that'll be good in the bag. So one or two in there. Uh, we'll just one. Uh, so they'll, uh, 
be going in the bag. Finally close it. I'll be going in the bag and uh, it'll be useful for whenever I need a new glove. Uh, the pill, which <laughs> sounds dodgy, but the put-in pill. What is this? I've not actually seen this. Okay, so it's a... It seems like it's a device that when you... It acts like a golf ball. Let's get it out. Rather than me chatting about it and trying to guess. Let's get the thing out. So it's like a squashed ball. So I'm assuming, because of the aerodynamics of it, if you don't hit it right, it'll go a different way. Yeah, there we go. Only rolls straight when struck with a str square face. So if you're, you're struggling with leaving the face open when you're putting it, or leaving the face closed when you're putting it, this will miss severely either direction. This will only go in the hole when you hit it square on behind. That could be quite an interesting one, actually. I might do a video on that, Shh. kind of hopefully, hopefully not, exposing any problems. I'm going to be interested to see if these go in one way or the other. Now, I know my putting lesson with Mike Kansky kind of said that I tend to favour a face open. So this might, that might be, that's quite interesting one, that can, could potentially combine the two. Interesting. I'll be interested to see uh, what this is like. Has anyone actually used this? It's called the Pill Golf. And if you look on the back, or on the side rather, it kind of shows you the idea. So if you leave your face open, it should go right. If you square your face up, it should go straight in the hole. And obviously if you come with a closed face, it should pull to the left. Um, interestingly, you can actually, ha there's videos and tips and stuff on their website. I'll leave a description to their website down below. Quite interesting to test that. It's quite weighty though. It feels like a full golf ball, just not, Ah, I'm so stupid. So, the ball goes that way. So if you don't hit it square, it won't roll perfect. It'll roll slightly that way or slightly that way. I was, I was thinking like it was like a hockey puck. I'm such an idiot now. <laughs> so it rolls true as opposed to rolling one way or the other. Okay, that's going to be interesting to test. I can also imagine that putting that on the putting green, hitting it, it missing the hole and ending up halfway down the 13th. Um, that's probably going to roll forever. Um, but that'll be interesting. I'm interested to test that. Pass in here. And a putting mat again. Not a putting mat, a chipping mat. Um, slightly bigger than the one before because it's a bigger box. Yeah. Um, so again, for indoor services, if you're just checking, just trying to chip, or if you've got a garden outside um, and don't want to ruin the, uh, the grass, ideal for just chucking on the floor and chipping. That comes to the end of the box. So, what do we get? We've got the chipping mat, the golf glove, um, six golf balls, premium golf balls from Vice. I think these are about three quid, three quid a ball, so well worth having. Uh, hand warmers, always needed. Tees, always needed. The pill, which is a kind of a golf putting alignment face thing, majiba, dobber. Don't know what this is, but I don't know what to call it. It's trade and aid um, for putting to promote Close club face behind the ball. So that looks like good. And my favourite, the putting mat. I think this is probably going to be the most useful for me. I'm going to chuck this in the bag and it's going to be used so much coming up to summer now. I'll be chucking it down wherever I can and just, just seeing what puts go which way on my course. My course is very much that the fairway is all hilly but the greens are fairly flat. But they do have subtle breaks. And even, there's a few pins where I, I kind of can understand the breaks and get the breaks, but some, you can't even read the breaks, that they're so subtle. So having this and being able to just walk up to a hole and just, right, throw that down there, let's have a pot. And kind of seeing where where I can, I can attack and where I can't attack, and uh, is it uphill this section, downhill this section, left, right, etc, etc. One thing I will learn, wait there. <laughs> I'm back. Uh, I met with Carol Alford, uh, my mental training coach that I've mentioned in uh, previous videos on the Friday last week. I've got some amazing news to come and some of you that are following me on Twitter and Instagram will already know the news. But she gave me this um, and it's basically a yardage book but in a slightly different way. So it's a yardage book that I create. So it'll have the greens, the fairways, um, all different bits on it. But this will be really useful for when I'm doing the greens. I can 
get this, chuck this down and, and kind of almost draw, right, it breaks this way, it breaks that way and kind of get my own yardage book in a lot of detail that suits me for my course. If you're interested in these, they're my Mario Becky. Um, yeah, I assume you can go to his website or has maybe got an Amazon store or something like that. Um, and he must sell these, I assume. Uh, but they, that is going to be fantastic, and this is going to be fantastic to populate that, so it's well worth it. Uh, just a final closing one, uh, kind of gives you a bit of detail on how to use the training aid, which if I had read first, I might have uh, obviously worked it out. Um, but yeah, as I mentioned, it kind of, uh, if you don't hit it straight, it'll go one way, and, you know, it'll go one way or the other, and depending on which way it goes, determines whether or not you've got an open face or a closed cut face. On the other side, it kind of gives you the details of exactly what you've um, got in this year, this year's, this month's um, subscription box. And also, which was on my letter, but I thought I'd say it's the last, um, there is a master sweepstake. So for everyone, so everyone will receive one player from the 85 players already qualified for the Masters tournament. Whoever wins or comes the closest will win a game golf tracking system worth £170. More details will be sent out on the 27th, 22nd of February. So if you are a subscription holder, you will get entered into the uh, subscription for the Masters, um, into a like, kind of a sweepstake, and the winner will win a Game Golf digital tracking system, which is 100% worth the money. And if you're getting it for free, it's 100% worth the money as well. So yeah, that's kind of it. That's been quite a, a fun uh, subscription box. There's a few things in there that I'm kind of intrigued to get hold of, and a few things that I'm just guaranteed to use so um it's not what it looks like <laughs> and uh, a few other things that i'm guaranteed to use in terms of balls so yeah that's the subscription box um like this video if you like it comment down below if you've uh, got a subscription box with my golf crate or if you're gonna get one remember there is a 15 percent off code in the link description down below i will post that and i will post their website as well um if you're not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. There's loads more videos to come. They're not just like this. They're like golf videos, um, lessons, club reviews, vlogs, anything that I can think of really that will uh, interest you guys, uh, I put out. I'll see you in the next video. Hi guys, Brett Parker here, Handicap Scratch. Today I'm down here at Hartford Driving Range in Cheshire. Um, I'm gonna be testing some clubs. So specifically, I wanna test some drivers. Um, now, when I say test, it's more just to kind of get a feel for them. Um, I'm looking at new drivers coming up now for the summer. So I almost want to kind of uh, not rule a few out, but kind of what do I like this like the feel of? So uh, we've got the Titleist M1, M2 that you've seen there, 917 D2, D3, which I have hit. There's a review on my channel. 